Sometimes watching a movie isn't enough. You also want to eat that movie. That's why there's movie recipes. Take it off here, boss. Yeah, take it off, Ragline. Today we're with Chef Mike Fuller at Ray's at Killer Creek in Atlanta, Georgia. We've challenged him with making a dish inspired by one of our old favorites, Cool Hand Luke. Chef Fuller has selected a list of essential ingredients to make that happen. They are bacon for the pigs who locked Luke up. Can I say that? That's for a bit. Eggs. Thankfully, not 50 of them, though. We're not made of steel. And pickles, because like this movie, cucumbers get better with time. And salt. Cook the food, boss! Cool Hand Luke. Yep. Uh, Came out in the 60s, 1967. Yep. It's actually always in those top 100 lists mm -hmm. and everything. Thanks a lot in part to Paul Newman being amazing. That is unbelievable. We want to talk about a guy that I wanted to be, man. Yeah, it's Paul man. Newman. Yeah. <laughs> that, guy, that, that guy is amazing in oh, this. He, he was so cool just on camera, obviously. Mm -hmm. And this character is perfect for him. Yeah. It, you know, the whole nickname comes from him playing poker. And he's like, that's one cool hand, yeah. you know? And it's just a perfect way to describe him. And he's just perpetually bemused in this movie. Like he's always got that, that Luke smile, you yeah. know? Even when he gets arrested at the beginning, he's cutting off the heads of the parking meters. And when he gets arrested, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> going in. We grew up in an era where we knew old Paul Newman. Right, yeah. Paul Newman was a great actor when we knew him. But uh, I mean, I watched The Sting a bunch when I was a kid. That was probably before my time. But you know, everything after that has been old Paul Newman. But he was handsome. He was a heartthrob, mm -hmm. and he was magnetic, and charismatic as all. He raced yeah. cars. He, he raced cars all the way up to his eighties. Not on cars. the celebrity circuit. Yeah, he raced against like real racers yeah. and won. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is insane. Yeah. The scene that you were alluding to, which could be the basis of our meal today. He, yeah. yeah, he eats 50 eggs, hard-boiled eggs. In an hour. In an hour. Not in real life, though. Yeah. We, we, we learned during research that he only ate eight. Only ate eight, yeah. That's, but That's a tough scene to watch. It is. <laughs> it is. Because they keep throwing it down. And there's a point that he's at 32 eggs, and he's standing up. He's walking around. He's, like, putting water on his face, all sort of stuff. And then they start walking him around and start stuffing eggs into his mouth. <laughs> his, his belly's all distended and everything. <laughs> yeah. Somebody oh, says, well, 50 eggs, that's like six pounds. You're going to kill that guy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> George Kennedy's is like, not nah, 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 my baby Luke. Oh, this is my boy right here. <laughs> Another thing that uh, pops out to me in this movie is the way they portray the heat that is in this. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, it's another character in itself, mm. is the heat. It's so, it, like, the whole beginning of it, them, you know, I'm taking it off, boss, and like, they're sweaty, and they're like wiping themselves down and all that. But it's really stark when you see him go to the box for the first time, and you yeah. notice where he has to be. He's gonna be on these stones mm. for 24 hours, the heat going through this tiny, like, you know, box yeah. and everything. I don't know if any movie is like portrayed heat this way. Yeah. It's so um, oppressive. Yeah, yeah, like you, like you, if you could, if you were like in a cold place and watched this movie, you would buy transfer, get <laughs> get warm. It's probably true. <laughs> Oh my god. Yes. yes. Beautiful. All right. Cool. Glad cool you guys are here. Luke. You went with cool the eggs. Luke. Yeah. I'm so happy you did this. I love deviled eggs. What what are we looking at here? So these are farm fresh deviled eggs that have bitten 16 month ham up from oh. Tennessee. Yeah. Uh, and then we do our own bread and butter pickles and we make a vinaigrette with the pickles. Mm. Butter pickles. Oh, that's great. God, it looks so it. Well, the plate is visually stunning, like yes. presentation-wise, and I'm the the expert in that. <laughs> but I almost don't want to eat it and ruin 
the the painting that is on this plate. Yeah, what I will we, ruin it. What do we yeah. got here in the sauces on? The so plate? that's the bread and butter, the bread and butter pickle juice. Okay. So the vinegar that we use to, to make the pickles, uh, it's nice and sweet and pickly, and then we make it a uh, vinaigrette with that, with a little bit of Dijon mustard and extra virgin olive oil. Why did you go with Cool Hand Luke? Cool Hand Luke's just an all time favorite. It's mm. it's one of my movies oh, that man. I remember from childhood. And, uh, makes me think of my dad. Makes me think of just you know, it's kind of a, a life setting tone. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is unbelievable. I would try to eat fifty of these. <laughs> <laughs> I would not succeed. Yeah. Mm. How do you make the stuffing? What's the? Everybody's got their own trick, right? So the stuffing, yeah. So the cooking the eggs. You know, there's a bunch of research on cooking eggs and exactly the right way to do the eggs. Uh, so we have a fancy way of cooking our eggs, which is oversimplified. And then the stuffing, so we take the yolks and we press them through a sieve. Oh, uh, wow. And so they, they come out light, nice oh, and light nice, and airy yeah. and kind of creamy already. Um, and then we just mix it with Duke ma Duke's mayonnaise and uh, Dijon mustard and mm -hmm. some chopped up uh, fresh bread and butter pickles. It's amazing. Tell, tell us some of your favorite scenes from the movie. So definitely the egg contest, the, the eating of the eggs is definitely, def definitely one of the, my favorites. Um, the shake in the tree. Mm. Where that is great, yeah. He's, He's just a trick. I was trying to explain to the girls earlier his personality in the movie was he's such a likable guy. He's smiling all the way through the movie, but yeah. he's kind of a scoundrel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, he's easy to root for. He's easy to root for, exactly. So uh, he's kind of rebellious. These are kind of a rebellious thing. My boss hates deviled eggs. <laughs> we've, we've pitched it to go on the menu four or five times. You can't stand them. So I'm surprised you didn't say the car wash scene was your favorite. <laughs> the car wash scene's pretty hot. <laughs> These are probably the best deviled eggs I've ever had. Absolutely. Deviled eggs are generally good regardless. Um, but I might actually want to go on a date with these <laughs> eggs. <laughs> Thank you so much yeah, for this. Okay, Holy you. crap. Thanks for coming.